Hello, today we are doing something a bit different. This is uncontrolled flight, flight in which human interaction is completely unnecessary. After I spool up the engines and release the docking clamps, I have nothing more to do. When I was making this video, I actually went and did the dishes because I'm not going to just stare at this computer for half an hour waiting for it to crash. This craft is completely well balanced. Well, not completely well balanced. It's a bit, I think it's a bit front heavy, I think. It's hard to tell, but it's designed to stay aloft as long as possible, just flying on its own. One of the limiting factors is uh, actually engine heat. You'll see in a moment when I flame out a few times, there we go, that that actually saves me. It lowers my engine temperature because when the engine's flamed out, it's not doing anything. And whoa, that was a low dive there. It gives me a couple of scares like that because in things like this, there's no real controlling. Uh, I wanted to make one that would fly straight, but to do that, you would have to put something on the top and bottom. And when you're not interacting with it at all, it turns out that uh, having a vertical uh, mass distribution is just as important as horizontal. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to just care about the axis of flight, but apparently what you, what you really need is perfect balance in all axes. You see here we've entered sort of a circling pattern. This is good. You'll see that our uh, vector heading is very close to, it, to the way we're pointed, but just barely in front of it to keep us spiraling. This is, I've found, a very stable pattern. It'll continue like this for, I think, a couple, about 15 or 20 minutes. And the only thing that'll disrupt it, like right there, I think what happens right there is that the middle fuel tank has completely drained out. It's beginning to drain from the front now, and the mass distribution is beginning to move backwards. So it's going to be a bit more uh, nose happy for the next few bits, but it's got a little more time going. It's going to do a lot more stalling out just now, and it's about to start acting silly. Yes, there we go. I think it's about to crash in this loop or the next. This one, here we go. Yes, there's our crash. Now let's see, how far did this go? There's the stats. Okay, it went 433 kilometers. That's just spiraling around in circles for a half hour. Covered uh, 382 kilometers of ground distance. And I issue that as a challenge. So let me know if you can do better. You probably can.